So yesterday, I nearly died in hysterics watching this video. This is a video response to Allison's Gold Chinese Food official music video. For those of you who don't know, the person who directed and produced this video that you're about to watch to make your ears bleed was the same man who now made Rebecca Black the successful YouTube vlogger and person that she is today here on YouTube. Um, he's been making these terrible, terrible music videos, which I give him credit is a smart thing to do, as I will expand more at the end of this video. However, enjoy if you can enjoy. Uh, let me just say that this, James Cameron, you need to raise the bar yet again. <laughs> Girl, you're 12 years old. There's no way in hell you're gonna be allowed in the club. Yeah, that's right, little girl. You're so, so grumpy because you don't have Chinese food, so take out that grumpiness by taking it out on that trash can. Ugh, you fucking trash can. What the fuck are you being on? What, what are you, what's that trash can fucking doing on the road, huh? I'm grumpy. I don't have my Chinese food. I see child by my Since when do nine-year-olds work at a cashier at a restaurant? That's not something I see commonly. And little do you know that your new friend really, really likes young girls. What is a big black man doing in a room full of little girls playing Monopoly? Does that not seem a bit suspicious to you? Be a busy bee, cause it's your fantasy To eat Chinese food, egg roll and chop suey To be honest, looking at your facial expressions, I don't think your fantasy is to eat Chinese food. <clears throat> I use the chopsticks to eat pot sticks Put some hot sauce and sweet and sour, make it sweet can you imagine how horrified you would be to wake up to that facial expression in the morning when you wake up? Chinese food takes away my stress. Chinese food takes away your stress? I wish that was the case. Personally, masturbation usually works with me, um, but if Chinese food takes away your stress, maybe I'm eating the wrong Chinese food because I, w I want that. Now I'm gonna go and eat Panda Express. Stop right there. These girls are here singing about Chinese food, and yet they are wearing a garment called a kimono. This is a Japanese type of clothing that they're wearing right in this segment of the video, which is kind of ironic because you would think that if they're talking about Chinese food, they would not be wearing Japanese clothing. 
um, that kind of contradicts itself if you think about it. The panda will fly away on a rainbow. You know, I have to give credit where credit is due. This man is an evil genius. He knows how to do business marketing in a way that lot, not a lot of people have really successfully done. And by successful, what I mean is he probably pays $2,000 towards the parents of the daughter or the child, which then makes them feel like a pop star because their video gets millions of views. But in return, he's making thousands upon thousands off of the videos that he's making that estimate between 5 million to 14 million to even 30 million views. Some of the videos that he's made, similar to this in the low production quality, the terrible lyrics, the terrible just all right terrible song, is they're going viral. And they're going viral because they are so bad that they're they're so bad that it's un it's almost impossible not to share. It's impossible not to laugh at. And by all means, he's getting me to talk about this video, so in return, I'm giving him more views, which I actually don't mind, because this video was so bad that I enjoyed it. I'm not sure if you've ever watched a movie like that that's so bad that you enjoyed it. Um, and I enjoyed this video because it was so stupid and so hysterically funny with all of these r terrible uh, rhythms and rhymes, um, and it's just such a pointless video about Chinese food that doesn't even make half sense half the time. But you are an evil genius, my friend. Kudos for thinking and using this type of business marketing on making something that sucks so bad that in return you're making thousands upon thousands upon thousands of dollars off of it. It's clever, it's smart, and it's working for you for your career. Um, I'm not sure I would want that type of reputation, um, although I would say if I just really made some shitty videos and uploaded on my channel and those went viral, I'm not sure I would want that on my, my shoulders, but that's just me. Um, in any event, thank you guys for watching my video. My name is Daniel Soulsball, also known as Mr. Repsion. Tomorrow's video is going to be a serious video on the topic of fat shaming and suicide. See you then.